Step one will be to charge the Plantronics Callisto headset. Before using, you have to charge the headset. There are LED lights on the headset itself. When it glows red while it's connected, it shows that the headset is still charging. Once the headset is fully charged, it'll turn blue. It'll be a solid blue color. You should charge the headset for a minimum of two hours, thus giving you a talk time of up to eight hours. Please note that you do not want to connect the headset to the charging station while the headset is in use. Step 2. Pairing the headset with the USB Bluetooth adapter. Now keep in mind the headset and the Bluetooth adapter are paired to each other at the factory. However, if you've purchased a Bluetooth adapter separately, or if you wish to use a replacement headset with your existing adapter, then you have to repair the units. If you did purchase the two units together, meaning the headset and the adapter, please feel free to skip to step number three. Otherwise, to begin pairing, insert the USB Bluetooth adapter in any open USB port on your computer. Then, put the headset into pairing mode. So to put it in pairing mode, you first have to turn it off. Now, if you look at the headset itself, there's a big multi-function call button right in the middle of it. So go ahead and press that call button for about four to six seconds. You'll know that it's turning off because you'll hear four descending beeps. Once the headset is off, hold down the call button for another four to six seconds. Okay, when the lights begin to flash red and blue, you know that it's in pairing mode, so you can go ahead and release the button. Next, we need to put the USB Bluetooth adapter into pairing mode. To do that, on the Bluetooth adapter itself, there's a little button on it. It says a pairing or connect button. So go ahead and press down that button for about two to three seconds. So you're going to see the same thing on the USB adapter that you saw in the headset, which is the lights will flash red and blue. Okay? So when they're both in pairing mode and they're within 30 feet of each other, they're going to connect automatically. Okay, when the things are completely connected, uh, there's going to be a solid blue light both on the adapter and the headset. Step 3. Start Dragon Naturally Speaking. To start Dragon Naturally Speaking, go to your Start menu, then All Programs. We're going to look for a folder called Dragon. Just going to open up subfolders. In this case, I have Dragon Naturally Speaking Medical 10. That's the one I'm going to open. Otherwise, if you have an icon on your desktop, simply locate it on your desktop and double-click to open. If this is the first time you've opened Dragon Naturally Speaking, a new user wizard will appear. It's now time to begin creating our profile. Step 4. Create and train your user profile. The new user wizard will assist us in creating and training our user profile for Dragon Naturally Speaking. To begin, enter your name in the Your Name field. Various editions of Dragon Naturally Speaking have different language and accent options. I'll keep mine as the default. Important to remember here is a dictation source. Now we're using the Plantronics Callisto headset, so we need to make sure that the dictation source is marked as Bluetooth microphone. To do that, open your list, go down to Bluetooth microphone. Once you've made the appropriate selections, click Next. Dragon will now prompt you to choose your sound system. It's important that you choose Microphone Plantronics BT Adapter as that's the Bluetooth adapter we'll be using. Once you've made your selection, click Next. You'll now be asked to position your microphone. Basically, make sure that the headset's on. 
um, either the left side or right side to your preference and now uh, click next okay we'll be asked to do a volume check essentially we click start volume check right here and uh, this text will appear black just read until we hear a beep in this step the computer listens to the sound of your voice and adjusts the volume setting of your microphone when the computer has finished adjusting the volume it beeps the signal that the process is complete if you reach the end of this text but have not heard a beep start reading the text again from the beginning you should only have to read for about 10 to 15 seconds there's the beep I now click next and I will continue to a quality check now this bar graph lets me know the volume that it's heard versus the background noise we're going to do the same thing that we just did essentially click start quality check this text will appear black start reading until we hear another beep in this step the computer checks the audio input from your sound system having high quality audio input is very important for good speech recognition poor audio input will make it difficult or impossible for the program to recognize your speech accurately when the computer is finished okay the new user wizard is going to give us a speech to noise ratio um, that number basically is telling you the quality of the headset the higher the number the better the noise cancellation of the headset um, 25 is a very good score basically anything over 15 is passing simply click next this is going to bring us to the training portion okay essentially we see some text on the screen we click go we read what we see on the screen that's how we let dragon know how we sound or how we enunciate words etc simply click go welcome to general training training is about to begin we will now be asked to make a selection simply select any of these stories click OK read until you're done when you finish reading the training text a congratulations window will appear simply press OK you will now be prompted to adapt your user profile our final step 5 adapt to your writing style Dragon will now prompt you to adapt to your writing style. Essentially, it will scan your email and documents to help improve and build your vocabulary. Simply click Start to begin. Once the adaptation process is complete, the final step is to ask you whether you want to do some accuracy tuning or data collection. Now, there are several places within Dragon that you can access and prompt these tools to run so for right now we're just going to uncheck the boxes essentially the accuracy tuning is a tool that will collect all the acoustic data and use it to improve your profile through corrections and training etc the data collection the data collection if you enable data collection it will gather some acoustic data and submit it to Nuance to help improve future versions. For right now, I'm going to select Don't Run. Click Next to continue. Okay, congratulations. We've just completed our profile for Dragon Naturally Speaking 10 and the Plantronics Callisto Bluetooth headset. Click Begin Dictating and Finish. If you're interested in becoming a reseller of Nuance or Plantronics products, or if you're interested in receiving additional training, please do not hesitate to contact us. My email is josh at edist.com or visit our website at www.edist.com.